To demonstrate vehicle routing in ODL Studio, we first create some demo data. The first step is to create an empty spreadsheet using the new menu item. We then create a vehicle routing script. The script contains all vehicle routing functionality. We save the script to our current scripts directory so it appears on the box on the left of the application. Next we call the create all input tables function in the script. This creates input tables within the spreadsheet containing all data the vehicle routing needs. Initially we have a stops table containing details of the stops we need to serve and a vehicle types table defining the vehicles we have available. Next we call the create demo stops and vehicles function to populate these tables. The stops have an address, a latitude and longitude and a service duration. They can have any number of quantities and also a time window within which they have to be served. The vehicles have start and end locations. Their own time window can have multiple capacities and have various costs. We can then save this data and look at it in Excel. When you do this with your own data, you should fill the Excel with your own stops and vehicles instead. Before running the optimizer, we double click on the script to edit it and make a small change. We tell the program to use a digital road network and tell it where the road network is on our computer. We then save the script after making this change. For more information on using and saving scripts, see the tutorials on our website. Next we click the Optimize option to run the optimizer. The optimizer can take a couple of minutes to run so we skip forward a bit here. The stops order table has now been filled with the list of stops assigned to each vehicle. Click on the arrow by view solution to show the options under it, then click on view routes in map. This shows all vehicle routes with lines between stops showing the roads the driver takes. We can zoom in and out and move around the map. The legend control lets us zoom on a particular route. We can also use it to select which routes are visible. A handy tooltip gives us details of each stop if we hover over it. If we zoom in further we can even look at the individual roads along the route.
For more information on using the map, see the online tutorials on our website. Click on Gantt chart under View Solution in the Scripts box on the left. The Gantt chart shows a breakdown of activities for all your vehicle routes. You can hover over an activity to see what the vehicle is doing. Red indicates the vehicle is waiting for a stop to open because it has a time window. Blue is travel time. Green is actual time servicing the stop. The more green you see on the route, the more efficient it is. To edit vehicle routes, first open the map as before by clicking on View Routes in Map, and then click on the Edit Routes icon in the Scripts box. You may want to tile the two controls so you can see them clearly side by side. If we look at the map, we easily spot a vehicle route in Scotland with only one stop. You might decide this stop could be visited tomorrow instead. We open the corresponding vehicle route in the route editor control. We can then simply drag the stop off the vehicle route. The undo and redo buttons let us undo and redo any changes to the route. We can remove a stop by either dragging it onto the blue area or onto the unassigned vehicle in the list of vehicles on the left. As we are showing the actual path travelled along roads, modifying a route causes this path to be recalculated. If needed we can make route editing faster by changing an option in the script to show only straight lines between stops. If we look around the map we can search for anything else we might want to tweak. These two routes have some crossover. Could we do anything to them? Generally speaking, we will not be able to make routes more efficient by manually editing them without breaking one of the rules the optimizer has been given. However, we might decide that a small breaking of a rule, for example arriving a minute after the closing time for a stop, is actually OK. In these kind of circumstances we use the route editing functionality to tweak our routes and override the default behaviour of the optimizer. We use the legend control to show only these two routes. Firstly, by hiding all routes, and then making only these two routes visible. This gives us a clutter free view of the routes. We then open these two routes in the route editor control by clicking on each route's name in the list of vehicles. We 
we lay out the window so we can clearly see both routes and look at the statistics shown at the top of each route. What would happen if we move stop 7 from the purple route to the yellow route? Would we save on mileage? Would any constraints break? We drag this stop over from one route to another. You can see the routes certainly look cleaner after moving the stop. However, if we look at the statistics at the top of each route, we see that the route on top has a quantity of 5226 but a capacity of only 5000. So we have blown its capacity. We are therefore violating the route capacity by moving the stop. The total travel distance and time is also shown at the top of each route. We can see how the capacity violation and travel distance change for each route by undoing and redoing the stop move. If we open the View Solution Details table, we can see how the move affects the statistics for all routes. The optimization algorithm will never violate the capacity constraints on the route, but by editing the routes, you can override this. And you might decide that small capacity violation is OK in return for a more efficient route. By modifying the script, you can change which statistics are shown on the individual routes in the route editor and on the view solutions and other tables. Everything is configurable. To create a report of your vehicle routes, click on the Reports icon in the Scripts box. This shows your report in the Report Control by default, but you can also configure the script to directly output a PDF. See the tutorials on our website for more details. The PDF shows a picture of each route and details for each stop. The PDF can easily be configured as you require. Contact us for details. All the detailed statistics on your planned stops, routes and the whole schedule are available from the various details tables. The stops table is very useful. It shows stop address. sequence number the location in latitude and longitude as well as the address any constraint violations the arrival waiting and leave times as well as quantities You can see here the quantities on arriving and leaving a stop. We also have travel costs and many other statistics. You can filter 
to show just the stop details for a single route. Here we do it for the routes entitled Depth 1 Vehicle 2. These details update automatically whenever you edit the route. You can customise this view, for example add or remove fields by changing the script. See the tutorials on our website for more details or contact us for support. Now we see the route details table. This table gives an overview of the statistics for each route, for example when they start and when they end. When we edited the routes earlier we added a minor constraint violation, so this route is now coloured in red. Again we have various quantities for the whole route shown here. The solution details table shows the statistics for all routes combined. So it shows the total quantity ships, the total travel distance, the total travel time, and similar other values. We can also check for any stops which are not currently assigned to routes by selecting View Unassigned Stops. Here's the one in Scotland we unloaded earlier. Now these details tables do not physically sit in the Excel spreadsheet yet and they will not be shown in the list of tables in the top left of the application or if you view this current spreadsheet in Excel. We can, however, export these tables physically to the spreadsheet and then they will be visible in Excel later on. Open the Export Solution Tables option and click on Export All. You see they have now appeared at the top. The data in the exported tables does not change when you modify your planned vehicle routes. Because the exported tables sit in the Excel spreadsheet, you can view them in Excel or read them into other systems. For example, into an enterprise resource planning system or a customer relationship management system.